Tonight, Boston police are working to figure out who vandalized a new housing development for LGBTQ seniors in Hyde Park. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu is calling it a cowardly hate crime. Good evening to you. I'm Ken McLeod. Tonight, detectives are porting over footage from nearby security cameras. WBZ's Brandon Truitt has been working on the story since this afternoon. It wasn't long after the sun came up Sunday that people started to notice. The signs around the soon-to-be senior housing center had been vandalized. Homophobic slurs graffitied around the entire block. Oh, I thought I was ready to cry. The words are so hateful. Just hateful and just so unnecessary. And what harm are, is any of us doing by wanting to live in a school that's being converted to affordable housing? It was enough to bring dozens of people out for a rally of solidarity, the group gathering along Everett Street Sunday afternoon. We are here because the community refused to give up on this project. Boston Mayor Michelle Wu saying this housing project is years in the making, set to renovate the old Rogers School into 74 units of housing for LGBT seniors. They just had the groundbreaking last month. To see cowards come out under the dark of night and try to intimidate or put their hate on this larger community, it doesn't represent what we've seen throughout this multi-year process. Things took a turn on Sunday when those gathering here reclaimed this space, covering up the hateful speech with signs of their own, many of them saying, we won't go back, and community pride. It just fills my heart, and it, it just makes me realize that the power of love, the power of this community, is so much stronger than the power of the cowards who did this overnight. The Suffolk County District Attorney saying his team is looking into this, adding this is the second straight weekend of Boston being marred by hatred and intolerance. This cannot stand. <laughs> Mayor Michelle Wu saying the police department is investigating this while the work to block the hate continues. It feels powerful. <laughs> I'm going to go home and make some more signs. I come back up again and cover up a few more. A community feeling like they've taken two steps forward and one step back. In Hyde Park, Brandon Truett, WBZ News.